This video is sponsored by Skillshare. The first 1,000 people to use the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. More about my personal experience with Skillshare in a few moments. If you're a frequent YouTube viewer, uh, you've probably seen an advertisement by Google uh, Chromebook advertising that the device itself is virus free. Now, I guess there's no viruses for Google Chromebook, but is this really true? Well, the short answer to this video is yes. The Chromebook is technically virus free, but it's a little bit more complicated than that. Before I analyze this question, let's go ahead and briefly background what Google Chromebooks are and how they work. The Google Chromebook, a very cheap, lightweight laptop based off of Google's own browser, Google Chrome running its own Linux-based operating system, Chrome OS. The Chromebook is a lightweight device offering usability and affordability. The average Chromebook costs anywhere from $100 to $300 using the Google Suite ecosystem, in addition to the web browser, Google Chrome. Typical users of this device include any sort of person who wants to do lightweight web browsing, checking social media, and working with online web applications. As I said before, Chromebooks are powered through the Chrome OS operating system, and it's based off of Gentoo Linux or Gentoo. Chromebooks work in a three-tier system architecture, and let's highly overview what this means. So we have the firmware, which contributes to a fast, secure boot time through not probing storage devices. Uh, its secure boot is enabled by a trusted platform module. Then you have the Windows Manager, handles user interactions with clients in Windows. So think of this as the Windows panes, displays, and how the UI interacts with the system. And then you have the system level software. This handles user interactions with an event-based architecture. Chromebooks are primarily designed to be worked with online, although you can use them offline if you want to. And you have to have a Google account to sign into its ecosystem. Chromebooks use web applications as its means of interacting with software. So for instance, instead of downloading Microsoft Word or the Discord desktop application, which you should join the Discord server, that was stupid. Users use web apps, which can be downloaded from the Chrome Web Store. So this means files and documents are stored in Google's own Google Cloud instead of your local device. So launched in 2011 originally, Chromebooks absolutely have had some great success um, and their pretty noteworthy and incredible success within its product line has been getting people connected to the internet through a cheap price. Now, according to Google, there is a layered element of security completely eliminating the need for an antivirus application or software program. But is this true? And you know, can Chromebooks really get viruses? Okay, so if I use the Wikipedia definition of a computer virus, which, you know, Wikipedia is credible, just joking, but really, it's a good definition. You can see here, extracting from the key phrasing um, from Wikipedia, a virus must be executed. Now, using the Windows system as a means to show in this example, because it's a common host, um, from a high-level overview, a traditional computer virus, right, must be able to execute or use an executable extension which will launch an installation package to download software programs onto your local device. Okay, I quickly want to show you what I mean by executables and viruses. In the Windows environment here, I have a task manager and a sample virus known as the Iker virus uh, opened up here. Now this is a very script kitty like way of showing you what I mean by processes and executables. As you may or may not know, Task Manager uh, shows the Windows processes and executables or programs being open and actively running in your environment. And here, as you can see, my Acre virus, if I go ahead and double click this to run the executable. Okay, so what I was trying to show you in this case is that the traditional computer virus needs to be ran in an executable type format. So obviously in a Windows environment, it's pretty easy to do if you can circumvent the uh, traditional antivirus software or an EDR or XDR solution. Unlike a Windows device, Google Chrome or Chrome OS does not have the ability to run executables. 
Also, it has no need to run executables, of course, because everything is done through the web applications and powered through the Google Chrome Store. Each web page and Chrome web app is ran inside its own virtual sandbox. So if a particular page or web application gets compromised, for instance, it can't move laterally into different parts of the computer. So Chromebooks are the ultimate device. As long as you have no need to store your files locally, you're good to go, right? Well, sort of. There's a few thoughts and considerations before purchasing a Google Chrome device. And here are three of them that I would primarily outline. So first line of thought is we have to extend the immunity of security beyond the traditional computer virus. The security industry is evolving, right? It's beyond just the virus itself. So can Chrome OS prevent the traditional computer virus? Yes, but it doesn't mean it's 100% secure. And let me give you an example of this. So Google has the Google Play Store, which you can obviously download and upload applications to it. They've had a rampant number of disguised, legitimate looking applications, which actually have a malicious intent in the long run often referred to as maybe like a bloatware, adware, or downright malware, Google Play Store app is a way to get and spread its malware out to its users. Now, it may look legitimate because it has thousands of positive reviews, hundreds of thousands of downloads. That doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be legitimate and it often deceives its users. It's been a big issue and something that's actually been pretty notable in the past within Google ecosystem. Another notable security and general usability concern is vendor lock-in. If the only applications you use are Google and all your data and files are stored through Google, you're dependent on Google. They have ultimate control over your data. Even though everything is free besides the initial cost of the Chromebook, it doesn't mean you're receiving a 100% free service. Which leads us into the next major concern and probably the most notable one is privacy. Extend the scope of the concern beyond just general security and go into the privacy topic, Google Chromebooks have little to no uh, data control. And this is perhaps the most compelling reason why I would not buy a Chromebook today. Google may explicitly claim, hey, we're not going to read your data or use it, but you never truly know. Now, I'm not immune to this myself. I'm using Google Docs here to just have some bullet points. But if we take a look at a recent example, ProtonMail, um, the email service provider offering complete anonymity and security, uh, they handed over a IP address or logs of a uh, activist to the Swiss government. This is a perfect example of a provider that was highly reputable, but did not succeed in following through their mission. And it's not to say that Google can do the same. I mean, they can absolutely do the same exact thing for governments or for their own game. And then one more thought for consideration. To the general public, being a virus free maybe translates to, oh, this thing has 100% security, I'm good to go. But this is absolutely a wrong assumption. As I've noted before, the security industry is continuously evolving and it's not the traditional computer virus anymore. You can still fall prey to all of the too common phishing attacks, for example. So this advertising campaign may be a bit misleading. All right, so Google Chromebooks, they're taking a step in the right direction with the complete elimination of an attack surface, right? Extending to executables. If we take a look at this comment here, even for example, you will see that the Chromebooks have absolutely a lot less security flaws than Windows 10 or Chrome or Mac OS X. And of course, they also have a multi-layered architecture with sandbox isolation. So they are taking an absolutely right step in the direction of security. But that isn't the only thought you have to consider. You have to consider privacy as well. So are Chromebooks virus-free? As I hinted at the beginning of the video, it is, but at the other time, it isn't. Uh, other thoughts you have to include in include advanced malware attacks, social engineering, vendor lock-in, and the privacy concerns. I'm not saying don't buy a Google Chromebook, I'm just simply reporting and documenting the answer that I had questioned at the beginning of this video. Now, if you're like me, whether you're using a Chromebook, Windows computer, or Linux distribution, you will know how important it is for computers to you know, aid you in your productivity endeavors. And this is where Skillshare comes into play today. I took the Productivity for Creatives Build a system that brings out your best by content creator Thomas Frank. With the help of his ideas and his systems, I was able to efficiently achieve a more productive 
and healthy work lifestyle. Recently, I've been exercising his methods outlined in his Skillshare class specifically uh, to help me with a recent cloud certification I am studying for right now. Now, if you're someone who is interested in gaining a more insight into achieving higher levels of productivity or just general learning, uh, check out Skillshare today. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there is no ads and they're always launching new premium classes. So you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity suits you. Be one of the first 1,000 members to use the link in the description below for a one month free trial. Thomas Frank's class has been super helpful in helping me achieve higher levels of productivity. Uh, and I thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. So with that being said, that is my analysis today of the Google Chromebooks. And until the next video, have a good day.